it's Mike, and this is Old Guy Gaming Time, coming to you once again today to play some of the Outer Worlds. We are going to go back, and since we got the Magnity thing, go see if we can uh, find a way to get everybody power, right? We've read some stuff that leads me to believe that we can do it. That'd be nice, you know, like a whole... Everybody cooperating and getting along together. It's just hope. I'm just hopeful. Where the shit was I? Oh, I'm at the geoth. I'm right across the street. That's right. Let's go back over there. I couldn't remember what I did. Fairly common. Now I got this guy. These guys are gonna get popped. I hope they didn't respawn everything. Everybody's dead. How'd I miss that? Where am I going? Bender. I have to figure that shit out again. Oh boy. So we only got four of these things. And this is Once like the this, fuck, no going back. the fuck everyone lever. So what I should do is just fuck everyone. Welcome to a hostile alien planet. No one has power. You guys are dicks. You should stop arguing. That's it. All these guys are toasted. I know there's two areas in here I couldn't get into that I want to get into. I just don't remember where the hey shit in there. Plasma rifle? What the balls? Plasma rifle, look at that 71. Oh, and it uses all my energy. I'm just using my pistol for my energy. I'm running out of light, though, since I just, you know, shot the crap out of everybody. This thing is super fun. Whatever. At least they've got, like, it's simplified. I really like that the simplified ammo thing is a thing. I need the security chief's key card. Dude. I must I must have just not been looking last time. Um ah, da, 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 da. Watch out. Why do all the terminals have that little locky thing on it? it? Bothers me a little. Okay, lots of dead stuff I've been through here. There's another switchy switch. Already turned that one on. Turn that one on. That's a little unsettling. There's the workbench here. Ah. This one only takes three. Right. Maybe maybe we should go in there. Oh no, look at that. I can just walk around. Is 
Didn't they let you, like, be able to turn that on or something? Got something as stupid as that? Look, I can touch both sides of the door. Let's not use our picks here. Let's look for the security chief guy. Uh, ah. Let's go down here. We're up here. Here, okay, this is this is a mess. That's where I just was. Oh, bitch. I'm game making me walk in circles. Where's Crazy Guy? Go across, talk to crazy dude. Oh, bullshit. Thanks. The crazy dude has to say. Hold down here. I'll just get my bearings a bit. There's gotta be a way to save everybody. There's gotta. I hate the single sided decisions they force you into sometimes. Sometimes you get a little creative. Hey, hey, crazy dude. What's eating you? Hey, Higgins. Um, I wanna ask you the something. Tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries, repaired them. Jimmy to open the vending machines. That last um. Well, yes, for the uninitiated palate, a mm. true gourmand of Braised. Boy. I sp There she go. You're just nuts. Hiding in the basement. Where is the security chief's key card?
Excuse me. Arg. Out of the way. Let me just climb through you. Who would do that here? It's video game land. What's this? What did I just do? Yeah, they have these little lights strewn about. You have some, you know, shadows and stuff. A little light glare going on. Well, I don't really cash any shadows for it, but good for them. Oh. Did I see you already? I super did. There's just a dude stuck back in here. There's just a little nook. Nook. Nook of death. How does this work? It's not telling me shit. So what thing this is just want you to be confused and alarmed and not know what the shit you're doing. You can run around and make mistakes. Everything spacer's choice, dear God. What do these numbers mean? Yay! Ooh. Didn't I have one of those already? I got the security chief's thing. 320. Oh. Neat. Damn it. Okay, now we get to go to security chiefs. Didn't he have, did I take a bunch of armor too? Yeah. Ooh, a 17. Stock armor plating. Ooh. Ooh, advanced defensive helmet. That is prettier looking, right? Huh? Where the hell is the security chief's office? Um, yeah. Oh, nice. 
nice. Loot. Okay, so that was just loot. Corrupted logic model module. I mean, do you have something to say? Where are we headed? <sighs> hey, mister. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I don't think you should cut off Edwater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edwater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hardworking folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? I don't want to do anything. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. percent efficiency huh can we do better than that Bathroom or something? I guess that's a toilet. The manager's office. But he wouldn't know any of that shit. Need to get done. Just a manager. Security. Then we have all these damn switches.
Oh, broken. Oh. Lava. Watch out for the lava. Oh. Crazy boy. In that broken logic circuit. Maybe he has some opinions on this stuff. Oh. You don't need no stinking ladders. Hey, hey, crazy dude. What's eating you? The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the ears are a particular delicacy. Okay. Forgot what you were gonna say. Um. Something you need? Travel. Oh, of course I can't. Because, you know, we have to make you walk all the way back up this shit. Ah! Find a fucking door to peek your head out of before you can travel. Just pretend I did this game. Seriously. Guys. Nope. There's the steam pipe terminal. That's important. This is the dead robot area. I'm gonna hit the machine. Bang. You work now? No. So who doesn't love stairs? What do these bugs do? Can't see anything different happening. Go and ask someone. Maybe they know how to fix shit like this. <laughs> God. I get so turned around in these things. This is out. Let's go, let's go and see if we can talk to someone. It's a difference. There's like a door there and there's like a door over here or something. I don't remember. Because I'd really like to get a solution for both of them.
Where is he? Anything else I can do for you? Yeah. That's not strange at all, dear. Few of us truly know where we are. The world can seem like a forest without end. And it is all too easy to lose one's way. But we must remember that being lost is the first step in discovering yourself. Uh. Glad I could help, dear. A sadness of the heart brings sickness upon the whole body. Are you not feeling well? Ought to lay your head down if you're running fever. Are you talking about an escape pod of some sort? Where did you say you were from? Is that a new settlement of some kind? I haven't kept news from outside the Vale. Oh, you're talking about that old piece of folklore. Now I'm convinced you're delirious. Uh. You really ought to lay your head down, dear. Babbling only agitates the humors. You ought to try some of my purgative tea. Won't cure what ails you, but it will distract you for a spell. Um. Maybe I do. I don't know yet. Growing up, I heard my folks talking about the hope. Always believed it was just a story we told ourselves to keep our spirits up. Listen, don't you worry about what I think. That's not important. Worry about what the board thinks of you going around talking about lost ships from decades past. You carry on about coming here from another world, and people will talk. Talk leads to questions. Ask enough questions, and the board comes answering. Hmm. No, but the board may have reason to fear you. I'm listening. I am getting old, you know. These two lamps of mine are not as bright as they once were. Or I might have seen you for what you are. My dear, we are all visitors in a momentary universe. Our lives flicker in and out like the guttering of a flame. Here now, then gone. Me and mine are just carrying on as best we can, trying to live our lives in a way that does not feel wasted. More of the colony felt the way you did. We'd have ourselves a proper revolution. I can't stop you from conducting your business down at the plant. I just want you to know that if you take our power away, you will have brought an end to our way of life. Not under Reed's watch. He and I would come to blows within a day. And he would never tolerate my tending to a garden. This is my home. It will be my home even if Reed cuts our power. Simple as that. Mm. That's because Reed was my boss. I was the cannery's one and only flavor specialist, you see. Remember that limited run of white chocolate saltuna? That was all me. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. I could not possibly care less if he does, but you're surely welcome to ask him. Uh. I'm listening.
Where are we headed? Ugh. She never let me talk to her. Um. Let's go talk to Reed again. Let's see if I can remember where he is. Time without running everywhere. Look at that. A friend of mine died a couple weeks back. Mm, trash everywhere. You could do a different helmet. My offer remains standing. Go ahead. Adelaide was our only flavor specialist. We are a Saltuna canning. Mmm. Word up to me, friend. I'd stack our larders with Saltuna Galore. No other brand of Saltuna adds as much vim or vigor to the bodies. But, and this is something we must keep between the two of us. Saltuna is hard to come by. What with being a species indigenous to the seas of another world. You mean you don't know? Why, Monarch, of course. Spacer's Choice ran a mighty fishing enterprise on that world. As it so turns out, Saltuna do not take as readily to the waters of Terra 2. Scrawnier than their monarch cousins forces us to pack our camp. Oh, we've scavenged together some organic material from the surrounding environs. Mostly organic, mostly local mushrooms. Some of which possess a texture akin to a well-boiled slab of Saltuna. The difference is all but impossible to detect. Go ahead. That you are not one of us may work to your advantage. I admit the fault was mine. I'm about as diplomatic as a bristling canid. I just hope Adelaide and her... F Nature is uglier. There is safety here. Yes, we have lost good workers to desertion. We have lost even more to play. Losing Adelaide was the hardest. She was our only... Spacer's Choice Saltuna is renowned across... Ever since Adelaide left, we have been reduced. Go ahead. Spearmint. Is it... Seriously? Can we not? Talking about... Well, maybe I should give... that plague medicine... to the lady. Who seemed like she wanted to help or something? I don't know. What do you think? You still want to talk yeah. to me? Huh? Still not talking to me. Uh, oh. There's the maintenance shop. Maybe if I go in here. I don't even know. Oh yeah, look at that. Plasma. Hey, that's... 
I mean, if you need it, okay. We kind of need it. Why are you letting me steal stuff out of this house? Oof. This is your house. Why am I allowed to steal stuff from your house? But Saltuna for a year. I know how you feel. Something to report? Um. Anthracillin, huh? That's an anti Cleo product. I appreciate your vigilance on behalf of Spacer's Choice. I'll make sure this medicine goes to where it's most needed. Um. Sealed, packaged, and delivered to a Spacer's Choice storage facility. Standard procedure for contraband, you see. Medical treatment by Anticleo's products is strictly prohibited under Spacer's Choice Company policy. I distribute this medicine to our workers, and we're all complicit in a crime. If you are one of our workers, I would be obliged to mark that comment on your permanent record. Shit. When was the last time it fucking auto saved? No way. Okay, good. In here. We were just in here. So we're not doing that. Because F that. The constabulary. Is a dumbass. A finger in the cannery today. And this is someone's house. The way it goes, I suppose. And this is a cantina. General store. What is this? Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. Oh. Heard something outside the walls today. Nothing for us outside of I hate you finding machine. It's not the best choice. Ugh. Is there nothing else in this little ass town? Oh, the vicar. That's right, nobody likes the vicar. Go talk with him again. See if he has something fun to say. What's this? 
speed. Any progress on that matter we just... Please. What would you like? They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about, um... The OSI teaches that the Grand Architect set a perfect system in motion at the beginning of time. Contentment is found by accepting one's role in that grand plan. The Order of Scientific Inquiry, also known as scientism to the layperson. Oh. You don't talk to the Grand Architect. Once the universe was set in motion, it stepped back. It has no concern for us. Oh. We will eventually decode the plan and all its intricacies. Once we are able to deduce the properties of every particle in the universe and its trajectory, we will know everything. The future, the past, each person's place within the plan, all will be laid out before us, removing struggle and bringing peace. No one will ever need question their path again. Some even believe this ultimate knowledge will unlock mankind's true potential, and we will all become akin to grand architects ourselves, after a fashion. Hmm. Well, first there's the matter of the secret blood rites and animal sacrifices. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Seriously, though, to truly understand the metaphysics involved takes years of study and contemplation. Okay. That's boring. Hey there, Resident. Mary. Resident. Don't see you around here too often. Resident. That's a dude. Someone with a name want to talk to me? Resident. Resident. They're all cogs. Balls, this is annoying. Something got you down? Nothing. Just don't want to fall sick. Is this hmm. maybe it has something to do with my character now I can tinker I forgot about that where does a barber the walls what? Oh, I could cut my own hair but Conrad sells real good disinfectant please don't touch anything physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene cleanliness is next to lawfulness hmm So everyone says, until someone for- I'm Conrad. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Where- Burial, in the unfortunate event of a fatality. It's what a barber does. We make you presentable. Go ahead. 
The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Boss, I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been... Oh, man. Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. Uh... Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Have you met him yet? Thoughtful-looking fellow, stares out of his office most hours. away that was an update I don't want to do that Thompson, huh? This place is creepy. The cannery. Don't go knocking your work. Wish we had some better rations. Don't let the boss catch you saying that. Let me tinker. I guess I should sell some of this stuff. All right. Oh, it's not worth selling. Okay. Oh, play sucks.
Something got you down? I need to check. I look nice, don't I? Nothing, just don't want to fall sick. Spacers, music to my ears. That's good, right? Where are my bits? Is that my bits? Oh, that's not bad. I got like two grand now. Don't worry. I wouldn't do that to you. I don't like either of the options. Apparently those are the only two though. Where's my persuasion at right now? I did a little reading on the lines. And oh, I just need one more and pers persuade Jun to be able to get him to leave. So let's let's pop over to this guy. Get off of this rock. Did I kill this dude? I came through here and I thought I whacked a bunch of dudes already, didn't I? Hey, sweet. Oh, get out of the way. Hey, come on, stick your head out, dude. Did you loot that other dude? He was around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Trying to talk to you. Let's 
trying to talk to you. you. Made me shoot you off of the top of this thing. Mm. Yay, finger! favorite. Hmm, I have a problem with loot. I don't know if you know this. What was that? What did I just pick up? This is this. Tactical shotgun. Oh, happy day. It takes light. 238, and that is pretty damn close. Let me use that. Yeah, that makes me happy. I have this plasma rifle, too. How is that? How is this so much better? Crazy. Ah, shit. That's the wrong button. Nice. We're gonna be putting a new magazine on this sucker. We did this one. I just did that one. Oh, this one's just a square. Nice. Well, maybe I did come through here before. Go oh, over the hill. Oh, this is the constable. Whoa. very violent.
Meshki's runes. Shooting marauders in the face. I thought maybe I'd be able to talk to somebody. That guy's got no legs. I didn't do that. Or did I? Did I? I don't really feel like any of these weapons should be blowing people's legs off yet. Alright. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, this guy. Okay. That's behind here. Just give us a fast travel. Hopefully the raiders haven't respawned, but if they have, that's fun. I've got some new crap I can tinker with. Bloop, bloop. Okay. Constable. Yeah. Climb over this mountain. Bean. Primal nest discovered. Uh oh. What is that? To kill him to get through to there? Great. It's just a theme. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's never a place with like happy bunnies. That's, that's not good. Look, this alien planet is filled with a bunch of bunnies. And they're all friendly. Oh, they're all friendly. Tamed candid. Oh, hi. Oh, you're a vandal. Watch on my new shotgun, come here. Just all marauders. Dervish mist. He did look like he might have a sniper rifle. I'm getting lots of weapon mods. Oh, there's boom booms. I need to remember about that. I don't know. I haven't been remembering. Hunting rifle. Right there. on a stick. Spacer's Choice Blade on a stick. Make it special? Where's that hunting rifle thing? 
assault rifle. What I'm using right now. I thought it said a hunting rifle. Did oh yeah, look at that. 53 damage per second. Why would I use that? Extendo sight. Hmm. Oh, it has sixty six. Shit. 28 so the damage per second a little bit yeah it takes a little while all right that's cool This looks kind of nice. What is this? Hmm. the river sometimes this isn't really doesn't seem the type of game to uh, store stuff in a toilet not like Borderlands, my favorites. What's going on here? Mm -hmm. Lockpick used. Key case. Is it? It says that. I don't get it. Ugh. Blah. Tool used to pick locks. Okay. Tool used to hack computers. Okay. So, he said that down by the beach or something, right? Let's go get this dude over here. Should see if Pavarti <sighs> give her something better, right? Twenty four. Twenty. Got a big old impact hammer. I think she's doing fine there. I should give her a rifle. Want a rifle? Missed. Missed. Good miss. about this. 
sh I'm gonna shot you. Ooh. Another tactical shotgun. Happy day. Dare to kill this guy? something new What's that? 16 retrofitted heavy power armor. Ooh. Plus it has a nice scarf. Dodge and stealth skills. <laughs> Heavy weapons. And stealth skill. Oh, I like it. Oh, it's it's kind of uh, rustic looking. I like it. Maybe I should put her in armor. You want to be an armor party? You can be really dangerous looking. How's that? Oh wait, this one's better. There you go. I love that. Whoa! What the heck is going on with that stuff? place whatever I'm gonna take a nap Always check the roof, if you can. Yeah, see? See what I'm telling? See what I tell you. Roofs are good. No, 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 no.
Pick up big building. What was that noise? Oh shit! Okay, so you can't disarm those if you sneak up on them, just so you know. This building is nothing. There's nothing in that building. Okay. Wonderful. We have... Oh, God! Destroyed all the raiders. Jesus Christ. Fucking hell. Shop. Oops. Put that away. Put it away. Almost lost a finger in the We should keep our voices down. Something to report? Yeah, I got your fingers. We pay by the finger. What do you have for me? Gil Antrim. Real name, Guillaume. Duly processed by a freelancer on behalf of Spacer's Choice. I remember him. I was just a kid last I saw him. Shame. I'll just need your signature here, here, here. Mabel Burgess, age 37, right or left-handed? Let's just say, I remember Doc Burgess. Conducted my physical every fiscal quarter. Guess she couldn't keep her hands off her patient's medicine. Still one outstanding bounty. If you've got a finger, here we are, Birdie Cotton. Cause of death. Let's just say overwhelming physical trauma. <laughs> Bert was the local preacher before Max took over. Always was quick to remind us that we all get what we deserve in the end. Well, that's all three. I must remember to requisition some more fingerprinting. Here's all the compensation you've earned, plus a bonus. Ooh, junior deputy badge. Now I feel special. You've done such a bang-up job hunting down our former workers that I thought it only proper to deputize you. Congratulations. Let me stop you there. It is official Spacer's Choice policy that all Marauders, regardless of prior affiliation to the Spacer's Choice brand, no longer qualify as our people. Hmm. Uh... Marauders are folk who lost the will to keep working, wandered out into the wilds and gave into their baser instincts. Not everyone's cut out to work in Edgewater. Some turned deserter, some turned marauder. None of them get my sympathy. Everybody likes Adrena Time. It is the finest medical drug ever developed by Spacer's Choice. Much better than that crap anti Cleo petals. Sure, a little too much Adrena time can bring out the violent animal in you, but if overdosing on Adrena time turns you into a lunatic, you have only yourself to blame. Says so right on the warning label. Mm. Violent psychosis is a well-documented and legally accounted for side effect of Adrena time. Oh boy. Wow. Wow. Wish we had some better. What did I get? Did it give me anything fun? This is my shotgun. Let's go upgrade some stuff. Nothing I can do about that.
Why not? Now it shoots harder. Oh yeah, I'm doing that one. Look at that. Work your jaw. Music to my ear. Okay, I can tell that one.
Where's your, um, oh, look at that, you get added to jump. No way. Cool. I got two of these guys now. Interesting. Tech skills and stuff. I haven't even... Man, I always forget to try to modify my freaking armor. Spacer's Choice. Music to my ears. Back to that damn plant. What's this? I should save this. Cleos. All right, let's go talk to the people at the botanical lab and tell them to stop being dick nuts. Yep. Oh, oh no. Oh, what the hell is going on in that picture? Oh, oh, please, God. That was ridiculous. Where's Auntie Cleo? Whatever her name is. Hey, we'll get the botanical lab back up again.
Sealed. the thing about growing old. Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are, chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. Hey. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? You killed my garden, destroyed my community, sentenced my flock to a lifetime of slavery in Edgewater for a power regulator. Well, shit, I wish it was personal. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. Hey, I got it. You tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Mm -hmm. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Yeah. Tell them how I've made the veil bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. Mm -hmm. The secret is human corpses. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. Um... Edgewater Cemetery's got corpses aplenty. Enough for a generation's worth of crops. Ooh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Um. Is this mine? Yay! I have 22. Leadership. Leadership. Uh, um. combat skill. Oh, huh. neat. I get a perk. Hmm. Maybe I just, maybe I just leave that for a while. Let's go outside and talk to these guys and tell them that they have to leave because I'm awesome and I need to get on my ship. But let's go talk to them. Hey. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. 
Whoa, <laughs> Miss Park. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe up? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like. Oh gosh, no, I I'm just along with. I've seen you wandering around here. You don't look like you're coming from town. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Oh, yeah. It comes in a set of three. If I had my hands... Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the... I know the old community center kept a copy. No kidding! Really? Well, which one? Look at that! Building a computing machine out of... Sp I appreciate... In fact... Well, don't keep me in suspense. Ain't that just ironical? If I'd worked a little... Two whole data pads? Be still... Well, don't keep me in suspense. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. That's a complete set. All three parts. Um, aside from you. I'm glad we could help. I've been saving something for you. Uh, just a little contraption I found. Should fit right into your outfit. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much use to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do... You know something? I think you're right. The town could use another engineer, and I'm on my way to be... I could do a lot of good in Edgewater. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and... It's just... Adelaide's never gonna forgive me. I'm not... You know where to find me. What did he give me? Gun armor. My helmet looks real good on you. You don't look a little beat up. This is a fine day. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. I am not perfect. I have made my share of. I'm a spacer's choice man. My father was a spacer's choice man. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned up freelancer, but it is my home. Hmm. I don't believe you. Plague's a reality of life. Best treatment is a good work ethic. The very notion is just grotesque. A raw vegetable? Why don't you just ask me to go chew the bark off of a tree? We are a Spacer's Choice Saltuna cannery. We eat Saltuna here, and only Saltuna. Oh, man. I don't understand. You say Adelaide's growing her own food, but that should not be possible. 
The soil's gone sour. Company said as much. Our own botanists couldn't grow decent crops for us. So the company got rid of them and shut down the greenhouse. You will excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? Mm. And when you say special fertilizer, you mean what exactly? Adelaide has been using dead bodies in her fertilizer? That's... Come to think of it, that's a stroke of brilliance. What a remarkably efficient solution. Recycling Spacer's Choice property long after its date of expiration. I was wondering about those missing bodies in Silas's cemetery. So, Adelaide wants me gone. Trade my life for the life of the town. You understand what she's doing. If I leave town, I'm as good as dead. If I stay, Edgewater will die of attrition. Adelaide has discovered some secret cure for the plague, and she is holding my town ransom. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, and she deserves this office more than I do. I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Give me a little time to settle my affairs. I'm sure Adelaide will be glad to see the back of me. A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. No such thing as an honorable resignation. Suppose I could find a place outside the walls, or put in for early retirement. I have always tried to do right by my town. It has never been easy. Hmm. Hi. You're kind of a dick, so I don't care that much. awkward in this elevator. I'd see the day that Reed Thompson abandoned his... Suppose it's time our flock made our way back to Edgewater. We must tend to what remains of the town. You're vexing to me, you know? Injuring us with one hand, helping us with the other. Here, I'm giving you something to leave us be. It's a ransom, you understand, not a reward. You're telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater. Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. you did to talk some sense didn't think she'd go back so long as Reed with if Adelaide's going back
Come on, I've already. Let's go to my ship. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but... Every time I think of going back, I get this... Sinking feeling. Mm. Well, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But... Can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Sure. Yes. I mean... Thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Awesome. Captain. I can call you captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. Yep. Captain, I have detect what can I do for you, Captain? Do you know how to install a power regulator? Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another... Our engine room is located behind you. parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Mm. Can I get in any of these rooms now? The crew quarters. The sealed. All sealed. Ah! Why does it kill me sometimes and other times it doesn't care? I, I need I need you to be able to open stuff. Let's just let's just hit orbit, huh? and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing. I oh. assure you. Oh. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. 
the Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, uh, help us, <laughs> find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kalkelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Hmm. Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kalkelly. Without a skip drive, good luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Mm. Look, I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start by reviving the hope. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting-edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, look at Where was I just on? Hmm. Oh boy. Hmm. Where's my Where's my quarters? That's space. That's in here. Oh, this must be... What is this? Oh, this is Pavarti's, I bet. Oh no, it's mine. Is this mine? Oh, it's a bin. I can transfer stuff to this bin. That's awesome. I have my own bin now. There's a sword. 
Can I get into the other things? Are these are these my bins now too? Where, wasn't there some in here? Uh, where's the locker? There's lockers here. Oh yeah, look, I can transfer to everything now. How fabulous! I don't have to carry around all of this stuff. Speaking of stuff. Got a lot of stuff. I'm not using any of it right yet, but... Oh, look, I got a bunch of points. Leadershipping, we're leadershipping, we're dialoguing. Shooting. Technicaling. Hey! One companion ability? Oh, sweet. I think that might be just about it for us this time ladies and gentlemen we have solved the first mission gotten ourselves a nice flying spacey ship that i'm sure we'll be able to do all kinds of fun stuff with oh leave some comments if you've got any ideas or whatnot or want to hear something from me or even see me play something and give us a follow if you haven't if you have i really do appreciate it thank you all for joining me and i hope to see you all online